Hi, it's me and welcome to this week's this week's Hey, it's me and welcome to this week's reading vlog I've been spending a lot of time on booktube and YouTube recommended me this one channel It's a foreign channel I find her really really interesting She's so cute She's I enjoy watching her and me being not able to travel I needed other ways to you know escape from the real world and I realized why not read again one day I tried reading one book during my quarantine I had the privilege the time to you know restart and refire my reading lifestyle as I go along the booktube and I saw another YouTuber, she is really really cute, she is nice, um, I have fun watching her, I actually binge watch her every time, she has a lot of videos, she's been um, doing book reading vlogs for years already, so her channel has a great number of contents. I think she's a lit English lit major. She's still in university so she has a lot of required reading. One of the recommendations that she had of this Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I actually have a I actually have a list of classic books that she recommended and I am still collecting it. The excitement on reading a physical book. Although I have the Kindle app on my phone and I also purchased a Kindle which arrived at home yesterday. So I will be unboxing it on another video and I'm so excited. This is one of the books that I have first purchased or classic books that I have purchased. It's like 100, 125 and fully booked. This one is a random pick club before I went out because I'm out, I'm out of town currently. I attended this wedding ceremony and celebration of two of my friends from what age and the husband I knew from Tumblr. You deserve all your happiness, girl. Congratulations again. I love you. So let me get back to the topic that I should be discussing for this vlog. Okay, Little Women. Aside from book two, the first time I have heard about Little Women is on Friends. If you are a Friends fan, you know what I mean. These little women. <laughs> wow. From what I have learned, this story is based or inspired by the life of the author Louisa May Alcott and allegedly fans or readers think one of the characters, the main characters, Josephine March, or inspired by Louisa May Alcott herself. And yeah, I'm so excited to dive in and see what is this all about. Baby, I'd have plenty And I've been scrolling up Cause my head's heavy But who's to say I should be ready Cause I can be emotional Honey, but I let it go sometimes Oh baby, how it takes me love We're all 
just human and the world keeps going Yeah, we all keep moving All your flaws won't never be proven Baby, we're all just a little bit human I'm proud to know I've tried I'm proud to know that I'm just a little bit human Slow and steady Chasing fame till it rains confetti No pain, no gain, all the growth and shedding mm -hmm. At least to me from start to ending Cause I can be emotional Honey, but I Just human and the world keeps going Yeah, we all keep moving All your flaws won't never be proven Baby, we're all just a little bit human I'm proud to know I've tried I'm proud to know that I'm just a little bit human Hello, I'm in the office today and I have a lot of work to do. Yes, ano na, nanakot na naman ako. Look, ang chopper. Ito yung anang tint, buti na lang may mask.
Hi friends. Oh, ow, sakit. Parang mas cute ako pag may mask. But it's awkward. But sige, para na. It's a very gloomy day today. I think it's raining. And before I go home, I thought I should film a quick update while we're here and walang tao kasi it's more quiet here than at home maybe i will film the next update or next clip when i finally finish the book na lang for now wala pa ako sa half i'm in chapter 8 84 pages through okay i'm not gonna be afraid of mentioning some spoilers so inilagay ko na lang siya sa title and kung mas spoil kayo dito, don't blame me. Anyway, I spoiled myself as well. I watched the movie adaptations, both the 1994 and 2019, yung latest. I like the older version, to be honest. But yeah, I don't know. Weirdly enough, spoilers make me more interested to read more of the book. Kasi, to be honest, the first two chapters were kind of boring. Ayan, kung makikita ninyo... May space dito na walang tabs because those are the first two chapters. So medyo hindi ako nakuha ng two chapters. And I thought classic was not for me. And, and tingnan nyo naman. Um, eight chapters and dami, dami kong tabs. Okay, so let's dive into the book or the eight chapters at least. Okay, so we are following the story of three sis three. Four sisters. Four sisters, namely Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy. They have differences in, you know, the healing, the characteristics, the behavior. Si Joe, uh, she's in love with books and is also a aspiring writer. Very adventurous. Ayon yun ng boring na na daily habit. And Meg is the usual girly type na mahinhen, maganda. Si Beth is the motherly type na she likes um staying at home, taking care of everybody, ganyan. But she loves music as well. The last girl is Amy. She's the youngest and I hate her. She's this selfish baby girl because she was spoiled, spoiled with love, sabi nga nila, love and encouragement. And they have this neighbor, Lori, or Theodore, Theodore? So they call him Lori, and this Lori has a crush on Joe, and Joe has a crush on, crush on him too, pero we know what happens. Um, nandun na ako sa part na nakakainis na naman si Amy. So Amy ruined Joe's project, lifetime project ni Joe yun. Um, she did it for years, tapos ngayon it was ruined by Amy and nakakainis talaga, nairita ako talaga kay Amy. So basically, diba, as I mentioned, the story revolves around the perspective of these girls, uh, yung experience nila growing up, experience nila in the household. You'll notice that they are very innocent pa to be involved sa, sa, sa civil war. No dark mentions of war here in the book. They're witnessing more of the personal challenges and the relationship challenges between or among the four sisters. It's also good that the book highlights the evidence or yung mga kanilang negative traits slowly developing their characters chapter by chapter. If hindi mo siya maa-absorb agad, you think it's slow pacing. Pero when you appreciate na yung plot, it's a very good book. No wonder kaya it's one of the best classic books ever. Yun. So, yun lang yung masasabi ko today or for now. Kung ano-ano nang film ko, puro lang naman gala. I reading vlog na i -reading. Castle. I finally am done with 
Mm -hmm. Little little man. Ang satisfying niya talaga tingnan. It's kind of bitten. Well, basically, the little woman is sometimes published in two parts. <laughs> so, inga. It's like this one from Collins Classics. It's published um, hate. The part two is The Good Wives. And there's the book two, Little Men. And there's a book three, na Joe's Boys. Ito is the first part lang ng Little Women novel. Bitten siya. I'm not sure if Collins Classics also has The Good Wives, but ito lang yung nakita ko doon. Four out of five. Um, for me, it's slow, but it's really, really good. Kita mo naman. Oh, ang ganda-ganda. Um, the pink ones are the parts that I didn't really like. Pero not in the writing. The writing is really perfect. On point. But this is mostly because of Amy <laughs> and some uh, Lori. Yan na! Tapos ko na siya. This is my first book with complete tabs. <laughs> Mamaw. Mamaw ka? And meow. Ah, meow meow. Kala ko mamaw ka. I have a full review of Little Me Women too. on my blog if you're interested. I have a link below. And now, I am diving Mommy. into... Oh, mali. Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Dore. So, Cloud Cuckoo Land, for the next vlog, I'll have... I'll, I'll talk more about it on the next vlog. So, this is it for now. Bye! You say bye bye to the vlog. Bye bye bye. I'll give you ukulele lessons Monday mornings if you're free We can go to wherever we like There's so much out there to see